I, 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Hello, beautifuls. I don't know. Maybe I should start off by saying that I've actually filmed this video twice, but like ages ago under different different questions, different things. Back then I was just like, mm, nobody really cares, so what's the point? It's like, who do I think I am? Why am I making videos all about me when nobody really cares? Just put out the content. Like, they don't really care. Like, nobody cares. Just put out the content. Like, stop. Yeah. And then recently, I did get uh, the question to do such a, such, such a video, like, to get to know me and stuff. Um... And then obviously I got excited, I was like, yeah, of course, because like, that was something I've wanted to do for ages. But then another part of me was like, why did I have to wait until people was was interested? Or until, why did I have to like, wait for valid validity? I didn't need to wait for somebody to be like, oh, I want to know who you are in order for me to put that out there. <clears throat> I have got a bit of a cold. I am a bit unwell right now, but, but I don't... I don't know when I'm gonna get another break off work and stuff, so let me let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Just because love is in the head, no lie. <laughs> so I have obviously I've watched so many about me tags, get to know me tags. I've watched so many and not gonna lie those questions i'm really not feeling those questions so i've basically compiled questions that make sense to my channel to me um it's a little bit more personal it's the kind of questions that you probably will actually have um so yeah let's get into it so it's not actually a tag it's just basically Get to know Sharice, get to know me, get to know lovers in the hand of life. <laughs> I'm looking down at my phone because I've got the questions on my phone basically. Um, so what's your name? Sharice Leanne Gosling. Yeah, that's my name. That's my, that's my name. Where are you from? Where am I from? Where am I from? Where am I from? When people say where are you from, yeah? I all my always my I always answer their question for question because I don't know what they want. Do they want to know my heritage? Do they want to know my back? Do they want to know my background? Or do they know? Do they want to know where I'm from in the UK? Like so that's how I always say. Do you mean background? And then they say no. Like okay, so this question is where am I from? Like my background and that. Um, my my parents are both Jamaican. Is that me singing on my channel jingle? Yes, it is me. Um, <coughs> yeah, that is me singing. I came up with it. <laughs> I came up with it. <laughs> um, when I was walking to Tesco one day, and um, it just came to my head, and I had to. I quickly took out my phone and recorded it. Got home, I got my brother's phone, and I recorded myself singing it, and then took his phone played it played it back on my phone and then recorded the harmony on top of it and then you know uploaded it onto my computer and then that was it that was my jingle and that's how it's been for it so it's not it's not studio edited or anything like that it's literally just just doing DIY it's my voice memo <clears throat> on my iPhone, on my iPhone. Yeah, that's me singing, guys. Uh, if you ever wondered, um, where are you located? I located in Nottingham, Nottingham, UK, UK, England, Nottingham. I've been here for three years since 2013. Yeah. I used to be from London. From North London. Da, 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 da. What is your hair type? Oh my gosh. I have multiple textures. I have multiple hair types. And I feel like 
these days i need to put such a disclaimer on all my videos that i have multiple hair types i i've screamed for c all day long up and down because the way my hair cooperates is for c the way my hair cooperates with me right okay but I know that when you when you do see me doing my hair and stuff, you do see different kind of curl ringlets that, that's not does that, that does not resemble 4C. Um, so yeah, basically my 4C hair is majority of the back of my hair. Um, yeah. Then it graduates to like 4B hair, 4A. I'm seeing a little bit of 3C in there. When it dries. It fully resembles 4C, like it fully resembles when I, when I'm trying to manipulate it when it's dry. 4C, I get single strand knots like 4C hair combined with my hair, the thickness of my hair, the porosity of my hair, and the multiple textures in my hair. It makes sense to cheat it with the 4C hair because 4C hair is most fragile, so it makes more sense for me to treat it like it is 4c which is why i will claim 4c and i will say 4c because then it will make me realize you know because if i was like saying yeah it's 3c yeah it's 4a yeah my hair's 4b and like then i start treating it like it's all 4b all 4a all 3c and then the 4b's the 4c section starts breaking off starts starts you know getting extra dry and i'm like why it's because i haven't been treating it the way that it needs to be treated and i know if i um if I treat it that way, the 4C hair, all of it will get treated well. Yeah? If I leave if I try to treat it like free, with the curly girl method like 3C, 3A, if I try to do that, it will just Right. Okay. What's your hair's porosity? Um I have low to medium porosity hair, as I said before, combined with the thickness of my hair and the length of my hair these days. Um my hair my hair takes long to absorb moisture and it takes long to lose moisture so when it is moisturized i don't usually have to moist i used to have to moisturize it day and night but um over the years i've seen that I've, i only need to moisturize it maybe once really good and it will hold it for a good couple of days which is also why when i do twist outs braid outs any kind of i want to see curl definition i will have to hold it in twists or braids for two at least two days in order for me to see really defined curls and even at that it probably still will be um uh wet <laughs> what is your faith i say that because i'm christian and i know a lot of people watch my older videos and they're like oh you're some day venters um, no, I'm not Seventh-day Adventist. I used to be Seventh-day Adventist. My whole family is still off Seventh-day Adventist. But God called me to a different mission, so I'm currently at a different church. And yeah, I'm growing and everything, so I'm loving it. Um, and that's the reason why I don't have my ears pierced. Don't have my ears pierced? Um, but it's just my conviction. But it's just like my conviction not to pierce them. Like, even though I'm at my new church, yeah, I know how sensitive my skin is as well, so that's just... A, I'm not going down that road i will not go down that road i mean it's nice and everything yeah um it would probably make my outfits look a bit better but i don't think i'm missing much okay who's my youtube inspiration <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit morbid basically when long hair don't care 2011 when she passed away um when I found out that she passed away and how everybody had really benefited from her videos and even myself, do you know the halo um, twist um, on stretched hair? Like I lo I learned that from her and finding out that she passed away and knowing that I learned that from her it was just like oh I don't know just it just really inspired me. I said like it's really morbid, but instead of feeling like sad and stuff. Um, about the fact that you know she had passed and like all of her like long hair and all of her like creativity had gone from this world I'm like I was it, to me it was just like wow um imagine if that like imagine if I have all this creativity all this knowledge and all this it comes so easy to me to do my hair and to take care of my natural hair and I'm just keeping it to myself until till I die do you know what I mean she was there she was there and she had this illness and she was able to 
share that with the world before she passed and a lot of people benefited from it a lot of people benefited from it and if you know like if you were there in the scene from them times you know about another long long but long hair don't care 2011 so that's why and another youtuber that um inspired me uk afrily star uh, formerly known as uk naturals like uh and kime tube oh like i loved her 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 drawing her challenges like the way she was be like yeah i'm gonna get to this length here and she did it um the science she saw the, the science behind it oh her channel inspiration that like, i was i was just so in awe every video um and then she became inactive and it was just it was really like mm. <laughs> so yeah those are the people that i was really inspired by in order to start my own youtube channel and which is why i always and i always think about it whenever i'm like mm, I want to make a video or my content I'm not feeling my content or it's not the way that I want it to be I just like it helps it's really a big inspiration so my favorite youtubers I thought the I thought the um, question was YouTube crushes and basically I crush on these people they're not just my favorite people they're not just my favorite youtubers I actually crush on them I found girl on them right Right. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have so many favorites. I do have many favorites, but these ones, they are worth the mention because I, like, I benefit from them. Every single video, without a doubt, I will benefit from their content, their vibe, the way that their chat, they run their channel, the way that they are. Oh, it's. I love it. L that's why they're my favourites. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. In no particular, in absolutely no particular order, I'm actually gonna, the way that I'm actually so be particular, like in no particular order, okay. Chaka Valentino. Yeah. <laughs> Did a collab with her. Oh, love her. Love her. Um, Merchunk Show. Love her. See, look at my face. I'm actually smiling so hard. <laughs> AB vlogs. Oh, no, do that. AB vlogs. <laughs> um, and Terrell and Nikita. <laughs> I, I, I really fangirl on them. Like, I really... Oh. <laughs> and Millionaire Hoy. Millionaire Hoy. Millionaire Hoy does workouts. And I do my workouts with him. He doesn't just like, you know, train me. He's, he's actually my personal trainer. I don't care when he says he's my personal trainer. Just think. Like, he's just so lovely. Like, what he comes up with is actually quite deep. And when they're sweating, we're sweating buckets and he's talking like legit great amazing things that like, just as i said all of these youtubers i can watch them i can do marathon with them and be inspired every time and like especially oh so yeah <laughs> oh my goodness you know terror on nikita's um channel when i came across them i had like um i got this nonsense comment on my channel and then i was just like Okay, but then it kind of affected me, and then I what? Then I found, came across their channel, and I swear it was like I just had this big boost, and then I, you know, I binged on all of their videos, like basically. What are my hobbies? What are my hobbies? Did you know I love to sing? Did you know I love to sing? I love to sing, guys. I don't sing a lot on this channel, do I? Okay, I love to sing. I would, I want, I wanted to say obviously, but it's not that obvious, is it? So I don't really sing that much. <laughs> um, I sing every day. I sing all the time in real life, though. Like everything's a song to me. Listening to music. Oh, I love music. <laughs> Finding new artists on SoundCloud. Um, 
new music and that I love that that's really that's quite a hobby of mine because I'll do that in my spare time I'll do that when I'm not because I used to do it when I'm editing and then I'll find music at that time but now I find myself just going on SoundCloud just to find new music just to find upcoming artists just to you know just to enjoy original music I'm loving it like people for that are unknown not commercial not mainstream I love it. I'm learning the keyboard at the moment. Oh, and I like drawing, but I haven't drawn in so long. But I love drawing. I used to love it. I did art in that in school. <laughs> My weird online habits. I like to have tabs open for days on my phone. I have bare tabs open in Safari. Um, on my computer. I love to have tabs open. I just... I like, I don't know why, I don't know why, it's just so weird. I like to have lots of chats open in, in WhatsApp as well. I don't, um, I don't, I don't make stories. I don't really know how to make stories, which is so weird because I vlog. So it's weird that I don't, it's weird for me that I don't snap. I don't get it because it's a story and if, I'm just doing, if I just post random things then that's not a story because story is chronological, <laughs> I don't know, let me just shut up, um, yeah, it just doesn't, I just can't get my head around it, and uh, if I do a post story, it would just be like one or two things and then that's it, <laughs> I'm really not good at it, so that's another weird online habit, that's why I don't give it out because it's like, I'll pre you, <laughs> we could be friends and I'll pre your stories, but I will, I don't ever make stories. Okay, maybe I, maybe I might start getting into it, I don't know how, maybe in the future, probably in the future sometime I'll, I'll start um, doing Snapchat and Insta Snap. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uh, my marital status. I'm single, single, single. I'm single and I'm learning about myself, you know. What's my favourite movie? Okay, so I was thinking about this. I have my favourite movie at the moment. The favourite, my favourite movie, movie, it's not of all time or anything like that. Come on now, calm down. <laughs> Well, my favourite movie is The Intern because I just feel like it really resonates with who I am becoming. But I don't know, it just really, like, since, since watching that movie, no other movie has really um, touched me the way that it did because it's just like, it really taught me a lot. Obviously, I'm, I'm young and I'm in my, tw I'm 20s, I'm in my 20s now, so I'm like, this is life now, I'm starting to really live life and thinking about how our, um, at these like opening new doors and like new um, taking on new opportunities to reach my goals and to you know to achieve my dreams and that and thinking about like how I'm gonna make it and all of these things and in the movie it's just it just reminded me that you know there's lots of people that are there before me I had to sort out my camera there. What was I talking about? It's just amazing how there's so many people that are around me that are, like I'm talking about like the older generation and stuff that have been there that have done it and I can really learn from them and it's it just really made me stop and think do you know what like I don't have to work it all out and I'm not expected to work it all out and the fact that I have people around me that have been there and done that that are older than me that even maybe not that older than me that I can actually approach and I can learn from even if I like I haven't just just by having conversations with them just by you know learning what they've done been through like speaking to them I can actually learn from them that movie really opened my eyes and made me realize that you know grow up sister <laughs> um and my favorite animated movie is hercules it will always be hercules hercules i know all i know okay no i know all of the songs i know all of the songs okay you just have to play that you just have to play the film and i'll know all the songs all over again i just love when i was younger i used to watch it forever 
every, I used to, it was be, like the video, I played the video, rewind, play, replay, rewind, play, rewind, play, all the time. Um, what's my favourite song at the moment? Oh, I don't have one. I'm the kind of person that does rinse out songs though. Um, I'll have it playing for two, three, four, five weeks or maybe months. Maybe months. I'll rinse it out until I move on to the next one. And my favourite restaurant. Oh, we love food, don't we? TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays is my favourite restaurant. I can go there all the time. Like, I'm not kind of. As just as I said, I'll rinse out things. Okay, so you don't have to be. You don't have to like. Uh, I'm easy to please. Okay, just take me to TGI Fridays. Okay, you can take me to Fridays all the time. Okay, you can take me to Fridays today. You can take me Fridays next week. I will love Fridays. Okay, right. And then, I, and then my second favorite is Tinsel Town because it's the only restaurant that I go to that I will definitely have dessert. Okay, I may not have three courses, but I will definitely have two because it's just lovely and it's really laid back. It's chilled. It's um. It's quite casual. Fridays, I could I could go casual to Fridays or I could dress up to Fridays. Tinseltown, the same kind of thing. I know it's just like a diner and stuff. I know not everybody wants to dress up. But you get I have the option, do you get what I mean? Like Nando's <laughs> it's not everyday casual. <laughs> it's just it's just casual. Like there's no yeah, okay. Okay, here's a fun one. If I could wear dresses and skirts or jeans and trousers for the rest of my life, which one would I choose? Dresses and skirts. Dresses and skirts because I <clears throat> I love dresses and skirts. Okay, here's the thing about me, yeah. You can dress them up and you can dress them down. You can dress up a dress with just by accessories. You can dr make a dress um, formal or casual. Like, you can't go wrong with dresses or skirts. Plus, I love how free flowing they are. It has to be eight and body can go away. But <laughs> because the fact of the matter is, yeah. Okay, this is a this is gonna be a bit a bit too much information. But okay, um, I don't I don't like wearing clothes in general. I really don't like wearing clothes in general. I just don't like my skin feeling restricted, my body feeling really restricted. Oh, and plus jeans and trousers when I get home I have to get it off me because it's bite like it's bite I feel it biting my skin like it really irritates me Urgh, even leggings mm, I can't put anything sticking to me I can't deal I don't like tight fitted clothes I don't like tight fitted clothes um, I'd much rather baggy loose fitted that's why dresses because it's not everyday sweatshirts and bagginess oh, guys I wear clothes and I don't I don't mind not wearing clothes I mean I like wearing clothes <laughs> I'm talking too much I'm talking too much <laughs> yeah dresses and skirts I love dresses and skirts so I would wear dresses and skirts if I had to for the rest of my life oh um I know in some of my videos I talk about working out I'm not I don't go to the gym I've never been to the gym never been to the gym okay I have been to the gym I'm lying to you I have been to the gym I used I was signed up to um, the kids gym the Everton Leisure Centre when I was younger um, I, I went there I went about like it was pay as you go as well it was like three pound every time you go and um, I went like two three times minus the induction and um and that was it <laughs> that's me and it was so awkward because you have to go you had to go through the main people big people gym to go into the kids gym and it was just um just a bit awkward and then i mean i loved the rowing machine and i loved the bike and that was about it and that was all i did so me thinking about going to the gym now with all that equipment and all the people who are doing this so I do home workouts so I do my home workouts with um, Millionaire Hoi at home in my room or when it suits me and um, that's that's the way it will be for now 
maybe later on maybe somebody can convince me why I should go to the gym my friend does want me to start to sign up and, sorry, and go with her but you know what am I doing in the gym? so I think these are all the kind of questions that you care about and I think this helps for you to know me a little bit better does it? I hope so <laughs> uh, probably now is a good time to mention you can be sure you can come to me for hair and stuff but don't worry here and there I will do like these kind of videos where I'll talk to you you can get to know me a little bit better um, and I could do some challenges or some do some more collaborations so I'm not in everything channel <laughs> but I will I will let my hair down a little bit sometimes and you know not be so robotic and just tutorial after tutorial after tutorial and do some nice fun stuff with you guys <coughs> thank you for bearing with me for bearing with my my nonsense voice right now oh cringe worthy voice right now thanks for watching continue enjoying your hair journey educate yourself educate others subscribe to my channel for more tutorials for more hair tips for more videos like this one occasionally oh if you do have any other questions that you want to know feel free to leave me a comment drop me an email connect with me everywhere on social media love is in the hair no lie thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i love you guys so much um, i really appreciate the support and the love that you show me I will see you in my next video. Bye. Take a step towards the door, build your ceilings, mend your floor. Oh, yeah.